Galactic Federation of Light Update, June 2, 2015. 10 Ben, 11 Pax, 11 Nick. Selamad Balak. Much is now happening on this world. Many final changes are taking place to ensure the success of what we do. As we stated last time, what is happening is the last fading of a system that has ruled this surface world with an iron fist for the past 13 millennia. Such an operation is filled with seemingly endless individuals who are truly dedicated to the old system that was set up long ago by the Anunnaki. Our earthly allies began over a decade ago to establish precedents to construct an alternate system. As we stated previously, this new system already operates in most of Asia and is coming on board in many parts of this globe. It is this prototype system that we last alluded to. In Europe and in Asia, this alternative is becoming strong and is being used to exchange funds across this world. The U.S. corporation realizes this and deeply senses that its time of reckoning has come. These views have been secretly exchanged. The last hurrah for this antiquated system is upon us. A great moment in the changing of power is near. The U.S. corporation comprehends what is currently going on around this world. Asia has risen up from the great depths that she had descended to at the beginning of the post-World War II era. America was completely dominant and used this advantage to enforce its global precepts upon the world. This superiority came to a screeching halt after the second Iraq conflict. Suddenly the lack of sufficient precious metal monetary reserves brought a change in U.S. monetary policy. The fiat dollar was under attack and the U.S. corporation began a series of holding actions that has brought the Federal Reserve to the very brink of existence. The world, and especially Asia has shown that the past monetary idea of fiat currency is no longer completely viable. In its stead is to be formed a new system based on a fair exchange rate from a pool of precious metal currencies. The U.S. and its friends are staging this holding action. The length of this action is one, which is attempting to hold back currency resets and a global currency revaluation. This action is running its course. At present, there is a legal system that has declared the U.S. corporation as bankrupt. Likewise, its companion. The Fed has been declared bankrupt. This is to become official once various other aspects of a new financial system are fully in place later in the year. Thus, the old system is living on borrowed time. A most magnificent moment is nearly ready to blossom. Until then, humanitarian funds are to be exchanged, and after a number of such key fundings, the U.S. corporation is to disappear. It is to be replaced by Nasara. This transitional period is when we can emerge from the long cover-up and our benign status can be officially affirmed. Then, we can oversee the lessons of the Ascended Masters and introduce you to the Agarthans. The events are to show you a new general paradigm. Heaven wishes us to make sure that the Dark and its agents are no longer in a position to adversely influence you. This is to be an age of light. It is when you are to return to full consciousness. It is when you are able to access the Akashic Records and the Administrations of Heaven. This time comes after the last struggles with the Dark are over. We are in a position where we can influence events. Nevertheless, we have a limit as to how we show ourselves to you. Much of this realm has been saturated by propaganda skillfully devised and disseminated by the Dark. Hence, many of you believe these lies and therefore, we need to appear only in ways that disprove these perceptions. Therefore, we cannot openly appear in mass until these dark regimes are history. At that time, we intend to increase drastically the number of ships you see. Then your fears can dissipate and all can freely feel our light energies. At the same time, angels can manifest themselves and the wonders of heaven can begin to appear daily in the sky. This is to be the forerunner of what is to happen. The light wishes to show you what you are truly capable of. Along with this are to be the various funds to bring you prosperity and general debt forgiveness. In this new reality, you are to continue to grow and claim your return to being the star nation's physical angels. Namaste. We are your ascended masters. Today is a truly blessed day.
our focus is upon the bringing forth of a marvelous set of formal resolutions by heaven. These are just the start of a number of adjustments, which are to greatly increase your sensing of the new chakras that are being installed around the diaphragm and the thymus in your upper heart. These two new chakras have led to some difficulties in your upper chest and upper abdomen. Do not be overly alarmed, blessed ones. This is part of a new stage in your continual construction of the preliminaries required for your ascension to full consciousness. Centuries ago, some of us were given a special ceremony required by heaven to become who you now know us as. This time was a very special one as many years of aging and bewilderment were sloughed off and replaced by the golden glows of heaven. We were then in divine service and needed a time for an initial boot camp to understand what was to be expected of us. The same is to be expected of you by heaven and thus, you are to be required to learn how to communicate and fulfill your divine service to Gaia and to heaven. Look upon these times as a preparation. In this, beloveds, we are sure that you can acquit yourselves very, very well. The dark fades and you come into a realm which you have not seen before. Our associates are preparing the way for events, which are, at times, to surprise and shock you. These events are to be portents of what is to come. In many previous lifetimes, we had come to the bad end that we all called death. Suddenly, this option was removed by a set of long-awaited rituals. We were treated to an environment, which we knew nothing about. In this practically newborn state, we emerged and were exposed to things mostly unknown. We were initiated by a special master and quickly trained for each of our new duties. It was the start of our service. We say this only to express how you are to quickly change, and once trained, to easily do what your new duties are to detail. What is ahead is simply a gentle overview of your coming life. Be positive and follow your heart, not your head in these matters. We intend to do our part by giving you a number of deep truths, which were forcefully purged from your distant memories after the Anunnaki took over this surface world some 13 millennia ago. Once the dark's power structures disappear, you are to become more conscious of the new reality as it can then reconstruct itself anew. In this realm, you can begin to start a communication with your space and spiritual families. Here, additional wisdom can be shared with you. You are as well to welcome the landings of our brethren. This is swiftly to lead to an introduction to Agartha and all the wonders contained therein. Today, we brought you yet another weekly message for all of you to share with each other. Events are now forming which are to alter this realm and permit you to experience the new. Hence, be ready to open up your conception of possibility and gladly welcome in the new. Know, dear ones, that the countless supply and never-ending prosperity of heaven are indeed yours. So be it. Selamat Gajan. Selamat Ya, Syrian for B1. And be in joy. Channeled by Sheldon Nidal. www.paoweb.com